one? Yes. With the beer. Binge Pipe courageously presents You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe, why not subscribe to One More Thing? Hey, Cookie Masterson here. What's black and white and red all over? Please tell me it's getting closer and I'm not wearing my glasses. We got a full boat. Here's hoping we don't sink. And please follow me if you will. Time for question one. First, double, double, toil, and Sprite Zero. If the Globe Theater had a special Coke machine using ingredients from the Witch's Brew in Macbeth, what custom flavored soda would you not be able to sip on while watching Shakespeare? Diet Cherry Vanilla and Hemlock Coke, Hip Extra with Lime and Dragon Scales, Barks Root Beer with a Wolf's Tooth dropped in, or Virgin Blood Fanta? I love this part. This is an answer. Let's skip to the right answer, shall we? Blood of a Virgin is not one of the ingredients the witches use in Shakespeare's play Macbeth. I'm a simple guy. I just like sparkling Dasani water with a little lemon and a little finger of birth strangled babe ditch delivered by a drab. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Why not try the Crate Depression? What would you find in a loot crate box that was curated by archaeologist Howard Carter? King Tut beef jerky, a Rosetta Stone iPad cover, Dead Sea Scrolls underwear, or a Marie Antoinette bobblehead? Let's see how that shook out. <laughs> I have a pretty sophisticated explanation about why this answer is so intellectually amusing, but instead... <laughs> Howard Carter was the archaeologist who discovered King Tut's tomb in 1922. So be warned that that beef jerky is probably cursed. I mean, even more than the usual for beef jerky. Why do we do it with three? Coming up next, girls, 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 and it's time for a dis or dat. I'm going to read off seven titles, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a painting by acclaimed Dutch painter Johan Vermeer, or one of those girl thriller novels that are so trendy. Answer quick, you'll only have a few seconds to choose between Vermeer or a girl thriller. And you're all doing this together, so look alive. Here it comes. Girl with the Pearl Earring. Most of you, uh, skated by on that one. But player one, you really dropped the ball. Dissatisfaction has been noted. Looks like it's screw time. Haha, <laughs> that's correct, binge pipe employee Cookie Masterson. Use the screw to make answering a question harder for all the other players. The results may surprise you, and you'll receive a bonus for each player who chooses incorrectly. <clears throat> Great, thanks. Use them wisely, or don't. 
You do you. I don't need you anymore. Behold, the clippity clop of anxiety. Most young people these days are terrified of celebrity horses, and who can blame them? Which of these would literally need a trigger warning? Gandalf's horse, the Lone Ranger's horse, Sheriff Woody's horse, or Roy Rogers' horse? What's this? Player one just screwed everyone. Hope you brought your spectacles. And how do we do? I hold wrong answer away! Western film star and singer Roy Rogers was never far from his trusty horse, Trigger. Trigger even had a movie named after him, My Pal Trigger. And after falling out the unfortunate sequel, Trigger, you bastard. Way to screw player one. Enjoy your cash. Take a good look at... Please, no mo. Let's say The Simpsons' Mo Sislak left Springfield in season 40 to start a bar in Japan. What would his new establishment be called? Mo's Izakaya, Mo's Kuko, Mo's Sashimi, or Mo's Edamame? Okay, what'd you pick? Should have picked this. An izakaya is a Japanese bar. <laughs> Round one is over. Let's see who deserves my love. Currently, player three is in the lead. And down here. These players are highly valued, but their scores are not. The data we have acquired demonstrates a need for more screws. Round two screws have crazier effects. Plus, they earn you a bigger bonus for each player that gets the question wrong. So don't forget to use them. The rest of you better answer fast before you get screwed. Oh, and by the way, all the cash in round two is doubled. In case you care about things like that. You can take that to the bank. Six trombones is not a parade. Feast your eyes upon this. Answer the Dern question. Which Jurassic Park sequel does Laura Dern appear in? The Lost World, Jurassic Park 3. Look sharp. Player 6 just let loose a screw. I really hope you have auto-rotate on. Okay, who chose what? Jurassic Park 3 is the only movie in the franchise that welcomes back Dr. Ellie Sattler, a.k.a. Laura Dern, a.k.a. the future Mrs. Masterson. Yeah, Oprah says you have to put things like this out into the universe. Excellent screwing, Player 6. Here's your extra cash. Las Bears should moke de moi. Set. This one's known as... Fixer uppers and downers. If my cable package doesn't include HGTV, but does have a channel called HGTV, what show will I most likely see? Mercury Brothers, Love It or Let It, Hi Well, well. Player five has invoked the screw. How's your hand-eye coordination? Well, we'll see. What'd you pick? HG is the symbol for Mercury. Mercury Brothers sounds like a terrible show. I'll still watch every episode. Nicely screwed, Player 5. Have some cash. 'Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. Here we have sportswear that shows off your religious figure. 
And hey, stress cut with Mimesore. It's time for a Snare Clutch Remember to type quick. That cash will be counting down until you lock in an answer. Okay, head in the game. Okay, look at the gibberish phrase and tell me what movie title it rhymes with. Gymnastic priests planned their new lined hem and pay no attention to that punctuation. Magic is everywhere. If you're looking in the right place. Amazing animals with a map to their location. thinking it. Oh, and player one, I saw what you typed in, and uh, I want to thank you for it. You know, people ask me all the time, Cookie, what's your favorite part of the game? And I'll say something like, oh, I love this or that questions. Total garbage. Because you and I both know, this is my favorite part of the game. The FU file. Because I know that when you type that in, what you're really saying is, I love you. Anyway, I know you want the full Easter egg treatment, so, uh, look at your device. Okay, back to the game. Here's one I like to call... That Dern Cat. Wow, I can't stop thinking about Laura Dern. I mean, she's the real deal, right? So, if Laura Dern and I were in the same vinyasa yoga class, I mean, could you even imagine? And we both arched our backs into cat pose, but then dropped our bellies and lifted our heads into Bittalasana, what's a cool thing I could say to Laura Dern? How's it going? What up, dog? Camel here often? Or, planks for being you. Hope you like what you picked. Bitalasana is cow pose in vinyasa yoga and is commonly paired with cat pose. And then Laura and I would laugh and laugh and you know what? Never mind. <laughs> Next up, poppin' bottles. Oh, I'm so happy to be here with you. I, I thought I'd pour some... Oh no! The champagne cork just popped off and struck my poor cat mayonnaise. Why? Why did this happen? Sugar fermentation, liquid condensation, rapid cooling, or atmospheric pressure? Oh, mayonnaise! Let's see who got it. No, you're getting colder. <laughs> Sugar fermentation occurs within the bottle, which creates carbon dioxide, which causes the bubbles and a cat killing cork. <laughs> Wait. Oh, thank goodness mayonnaise is okay. Let's celebrate her recovery with the second bottle of Oopsie. You made it to the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And don't forget... We may you! It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Make me plural. Do these instructions make these singular words plural? You tell me. Oh, 
Player 5 takes it! Nicely done, Player 5. You won. Anyone you want to thank? Too bad we don't have time. You don't know Jack! Enjoy this exclusive behind-the-scenes content from You Don't Know Jack. Oh, uh, my name's Greg. I'm an intern here at Jackbox. I'm supposed to come in and take lunch orders. Cool. Nice. You want chips, too? All right. Uh, yeah, no big deal. Uh, oh, you want to know about me, huh? Uh, I have plans. Uh, big plans. But don't worry about it. <laughs> lunch will be here in about 30 minutes, though. Thank you for joining us for this Binge Pipe bonus content.